they're both in Italy, so could very much be on the other side Just, of the mountain. Gotta travel a little bit. You can see Trent. We're gonna see. We talked about not seeing Trench earlier. We're gonna see Trench. Wait a minute. Maybe the party without High a Castle. What's up? Maybe the party on the flyers are in High Castle. Maybe. Ooh. People are flying in on their gold-plated helicopters just to make it there. There's one already waiting yes, on the helipad. Yes, sir. Those are the kind of parties you're invited to, Blue? Because I'm not, so I need I need, I need. If some I say in. yes, then I get called a, a gloater, so I can't, <laughs> I can't say. And if you say no, then chat calls us losers. We can't yeah. win, Blue. We can't win. Well, the answer is not no for me. I don't know about you. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to see trying to be humble. double trying trenches. To be humble. Yeah. Double track. I mean, not surprising at all on High Castle. I mean, you're going to see them stacking up on APSs or holding on to those APSs. Look, to get chess the match utility. here with the APS is yep. going to go down. I like that. See, almost every time I'm stacking up, the, this playing of it, trying to play those mind games. Play some, you know, five dimensional Chinese checkers <laughs> on either side. Well, it's going to be on B. I say either side. The, the APSs are going down on B because that's where all the spam ends up happening. here but spam won't be happening there early there isn't too much to spam here round number one you can see both dahlias linked to the trenches for a little bit more utility and a is going to be the game plan for franklish in the first round i it's common to see i think on on pistol rounds in particular the shift of focus over here just because you don't want to walk into it into those the death trap of a choke that can be the beast. That's a defensive sort of lancer? I like this. This might be a little interesting high castle. I like that jump up too. Not a lot of people know about that one. You can see over the wall across the bridge onto the A tower from there. You can see quite a bit. Quite a bit of, of information from that. They saw the plane going down and obviously couldn't really interact with it too much. Brady now getting, I think, early the barbed wire down. How far will that C4 go? Will it actually hit anyone? Nope. Halfway down the bridge, not as far as they want it to be. Are they playing off of their Lancer flank? I see three. I don't see the fourth. Story pushing now. Knows the trench has to be there. Headshots from Brady. Help him come up the better. It's a one for one so far. This pain is just waiting to take this zip, but delaying is letting his team kind of bleed out. Brady's watching it, though. Will win that one. He'll fall to his death, and it's only Diaz left. Popping the rage. I'm sorry, since the only sat left now, getting the rage popped on him, excuse me, to push him sat with two downs, though, but just too many players left to actually get that defuse down. Great bait by Precision, waiting on the backside, and Frenglish with the A push will get the first round here on High Castle. Woo! The EU boys are able to sustain themselves long enough there. I like that play, too, from the chalk. He dodge rolls backwards to force Sat to have to finish him mm -hmm. off, because if he goes for the bomb, then, of course, Kestrel and Chalk, who can get back up, will just gun him down, so he has to try and force him to to make a play off of that. Unfortunately, the bomb timer, a little too late, a little, just went off. But I like the, the patience from the trench. I think it was Mr. Brady just waiting for the anvil to walk completely all the way over. Pops up and starts gunning him with it, wins that fight as well. He was able to get the kill on the person coming across the zip too. I don't think he was even fully healed either too. So that was just a really good duel won by him early. And wow, look at that Lancer, I think, got the first pick here as they try to shove in. Sato loses the duel. To Exentra getting rezzed while well, they push in time. Gets the second down and the pickoff. Looking now controlling this fight here. Their side. Here's the shove in main. Frags being treated out both ways, but again, the defensive team recover from that last round. Just started off by that Lancer that or that forward positioning, that quick and quiet can let them counter the, the setup that Franklish wants to do. Yeah, they took over that mid that mid uh the mid cut. The, the little alleyway between the boxes, between Fountain and that B site. So once they did that, they had full control. And you saw there, once they got the pick onto Accentra on the bomb site, they couldn't get the bomb down. They just took over that mid cut and it kind of just collapsed the attackers behind that double box. And well, you got two different angles being played on you. So it didn't look good for them. Yeah, once you're stuck there, I mean, you don't want to stall there. I think you want to be zero or a hundred on this site the zero is just usually played around with a little bit more spam but they smoked off arches they're getting some pressure in kitchen early rage pop he yes it's making so much space that collapses to the two of them but a double down on the nade can they push it off of it you can see a mitt on the back side to it caught rolling it's wait pain's using a shotgun let's go with the lancer shotgun on the flank Oh, it didn't it, it's work not out paying off, him. though. I mean, yeah. Xentra catches him, but just Xentra left, gets a second down, but there's just too many people here. Blicky with every single kill that round. Dahlia, not just to support, can definitely do quite a bit around it with those, with the with the gun pressure, just unreal with the nade early. 
two revives as well. I mean, he's going to get double yeah. nades off the trench link. He's got two revives. He's got, I think, how many down? Seven now. So 4K that round, I believe it was. So he's going to have a lot of money. Lifeline should be online. He's going to have his gun available or his primary weapon. Should have maybe a perk or two, maybe a smoke as well. Even if he just buys a smoke once, he can get two out of it with the link to trench. So Blicky's looking good right now. For sure. They want him to keep doing that, of course. It is defense on high castle. You want to get as many rounds as you can with how good it is at mid pain. Early pick on Diaz, I think, trying to do something in mid, trying to be a little cheeky, but Lancer can take a lot of ground. This is a much more defensive style of holding B that we're used to seeing on High Castle. But it's being counted out by, I guess, it makes up for the aggression that Franklish are trying to have here. You can see, so far forward is Exentra. Wanting to I like that somebody. too, just Dude. pushes right through the smoke. Doesn't allow them to back him <laughs> off with just the smoke. It looks like they were trying to get a bomb plant down. They lost one member early, so they're going to have to get aggressive here. Oh my goodness, I want to see the striker. <laughs> I want to see this shotgun Lancer. It, it's, yes. it's unique. We don't see it a lot. Do you I think see it's the, the first SMG? time we've seen it in a CMG. That is a good statistic. I no idea but i mean that's because lancer isn't picked all the time even when no it definitely is constantly. on broadcast at least maybe there was you know a team like in the first round of 128. yeah first go but it begins right here what more can you get two almost two excuse me get some very low but the rest of the team is there to clean up everyone is down and they'll get burnt there from kitchen with a great rotation near the end this lancer shotgun hey he's doing what i told you lancers need to do right if you're going to die at least take one with you. He did. He shot the person that was down again. So he's taken a trade with him, and his team was there just in time to clean up the last two. So they got that first pick early on, and it really set the tone for the defense. You saw how passive they were playing. They pushed all the way through back arch. Defense just backed up. They smoked it and then backed up. They're playing and it very could, smart. I mean, you say Lancer has to one for one. Amit could have technically jumped off the map at that point, right? Because he already got that early pick on well, Diaz trying down to play in mid. So, yeah. Yeah, of course. He got he got that pick initially, but definitely doing extra credit on his side there. Low from the early nade, but surviving. And Emit changes his playstyle now. He's in B. Two players caught out close. Everyone's down, but Diaz. No chance for him to come for the res, and Emit will clean up everybody as well. Conditioning. Just chalk with four players. Yeah, this is, this is going to be tough, Blue. Yeah, conditioning him for the flank. Nice play from Amit Payne. This time just plays up front with the rest of his team. Boots his way to the double box. Can he find another? No, he cannot. But Blicky will clean him up for him. I don't know. There might be some shotgun play. You see, we saw <laughs> Ned come out with the shotgun anvil a couple months ago. on, mm -hmm. And then we saw a couple more people sprinkle it in after he had some success with it. Then we saw one person pull up with a scorched shotgun replenish. And then everybody started using it, right? Because nothing changed about that gun or scorch or replenish at that time nothing changed just someone else was like you know what let me try this and then it worked and then everyone started doing it and then that's when they had to change it and nerf it right so yeah and then some people realizing that the arbitrator is good right if you're good enough people also maybe just became good enough with the secondaries to be willing to pull it out amid pain two people catches the a push are you kidding me here? With the Lancer down to the Semtex, of course, but he is again putting overtime here, here on the defense with this Lancer shotgun. It constantly surprising them, but things have been evened out closely. Precision getting this trench solo sat. Will he be able to survive? Oh, Sat's got to stay now. alive here. He's got to stay alive. He's got to be able to help his teammate get this kill. Oh, Precision solo. They got to push. They're just going to shove. I mean, this is a lost round at this point. They're all coming in. They even have Licky from the third angle there. And it being such a thorn in their side. Top downs playing defensive shotgun Lancer on high. Is that just because it's so easy to defend on high castle? He's I just... think it's just because, yes, one factor is it's, oh, you know, God. high castle is the most defensive map. But also, he's playing this so well. And the other team, you cannot tell me that they were ready for this, right? If you see a Lancer come out on defense no on high castle, you're probably like, okay. It, you know, it, this is rare, but we can figure it out. We can play against this. And then all of a sudden, he runs up in your face with a, a shotgun, and he's just pumping you with lead, right? With spread as well. And you're just like, what the hell is going on? Look at this mid-cut play. Did he stick him with that Semtex? Oh, he gets the three downs from the frag, because he got the Semtex too. Blinky, there's two members now standing. They pop the rage to try to make up for the difference, but the guns are still there. Diaz can't get away. 
Who's left standing? It's just the Dahlia back in choke. It's Xentro. One versus four. There's going to be a shotgun running him down in a second, too. No chance here. Every member swarming around the corner. We hit the half six to one. Not uncommon on High Castle, but done a little bit more stylishly than we're used to. I mean, yeah, it's six to one, and the six is in favor of the defensive team. But at the same time, I mean, Emmett Payne is doing some wonderful things. Not only is he playing a, a shotgun Lancer, which we've you know touched on so many times already, but he is just being able to predict the attacking movement so well. They yeah. went towards A two rounds before, and he was there already, right? And he's able to get trades with it. They go towards B, he's playing up on the box. The rounds before that, it was successful because he conditioned them for the flank, which worked out well uh, those times. At the same time, I mean, it's something you don't expect. So when you're facing a team that is from the European region, or you're facing a team that you don't have as much experience against, or maybe a team that is uh, maybe favored a little bit more in the matchup or a higher seed, because again, I mean, we talked about Good Gunny being the 11th seed. You have to kind of throw a wild card out there, right? And that's exactly what's happening. Now we're going to see a pain come out on the glitch. That's not as uncommon as the shotgun Lancer on defense, but still. Uncommonly good aim, though. Still with that early pick on Diaz. Obviously had some support still, but I think just having this... Just having this glitch here gets gets them that intel, destroys all this APSs emit pain. Just a warrior here in mid. No one can challenge him. It's just the Kestrel left. This team backing him up. They don't know the Kestrel's right there. They're gonna no way Precision loses this. Right? No way! Story wins that one versus one. Wanting to take a little bit of the credit away from Pain takes that one and attacking ground puts them one away from closing out High Castle already. Uh Precision. Hello, your name is Precision, man. What, what what precision was that? You just got goofed on by the trench. But nonetheless, yeah, pain. I mean, going crazy with the glitch now. This game's looking like all him. And, and you know, I, I looked on Twitter yesterday after the update show or the patch note show on, on the official Rogue Company Twitch channel. And he was really excited about the glitch changes because now he can bring his, you know, even if he uses his ability, he can bring that thing back out and use it as a UAV. So... It's looking good for the glitch mains out there. Yeah, big, big ooh, story low. Big changes. Next patch for him. Also, just more effective in general, this denying stuff during down. the process of the hack. So quite a bit this that goes uh, yeah. to the game. If you don't have it in your hand, then yeah. Yeah, exactly. But it's still, denying that is is big. It's a big deal if you can if you can make that work for them here. Two, one down already. Diaz got a good nade. Followed, good good gunfight followed up by Xentra there, but they get the plant down. So if Gunny can play around this, if they can defend mid-cut well enough, they can make it tough for them to refight it. But they have to keep their eyes up top. Amit Payne in the dual blick. He gets the crossfire from the left side from pushing through mid-cut. Etc. didn't have eyes on that. So now he's isolated. Here comes the push from the defenders running it down. Amit Payne wins this one with a shotgun again. Blicky taking that at the two versus one just on the Kestrel. And Precision can't win that even though they lose someone early. Good Gunny. Two rounds straight on attack. On High Castle, shotgun in the hand of him at pain the entire time. What a performance by them here against Economy Changes. And I like them. Mm -hmm. And Precision had a chance to, but again, lost that fight down over on the B side when he was the last one left. Maybe an extra primary turns that round around because it's all pistols, except for the shotgun in the hands of him at pain, basically, in that, in that last round. Gets close, but no cigar for him. Favelas, though. Very different map, I think. From how, from how you can play it. It's a little bit more even. You mentioned getting a little bit more attacker-sided recently. Can't tell who's on what side quite yet, but the Anvil coming out from Franklish. Well, change things up there. Playing kind of hard meta, though. Both teams playing that way. Bomb the ship here, we'll see. Franklish will be starting on the defense. Dahlia pairing with the Anvil, Bomb so those flashbangs from the Chalk not going to be quite as effective here. Adalia will get those rolls on the res. See how they start things off again. We said A and B, both fairly viable sites to attack from. Start, of course, dead center, because you can pick both ways. And there's the bait and switch at the very end. Good Gunny will start on the low ground. No one there even to spot them out. Every member of Fenglish is sitting up top, and that could hurt them. I like this spread offense, though, especially round one. They like to go towards that A site. We talked about it after their first Favela's game in the first matchup. They didn't really like to go towards the A site as much. Precision, though, he gets spotted out. He's going to have to back off. My story did find DS, finished him off as well, but Precision's bounce mate will find him. On the second bounce mate, might actually catch them off guard if they're holding forward. Doesn't find Precision. 
but they still do have their early pick here. How far do the Halo drones go? That's a tough angle to find, but still manages to catch Blicky. Finish him off. So again, three on three now. They get the bomb, but can't get it planted. The rotation from Franklish was good and is going to force them to second guess how they want to approach this. Is this just a complete surrender of this site? Are they going to go all the way back to B? Looks like that might be the case, but they already have two players on the low ground to catch them with that C4. Getting the down on someone else that was waiting back. Bomb down again. Precision now rotating back to see it, but these pistols story so lethal. Their pistol. He doesn't know Precision's yeah, behind team. bricks. He was checking the right side. This could be dangerous. Now he knows he's there. Oh. If he wins that, then it's over. Precision not getting in on the fight as quickly as he should have to help out Brady and the Anvil. Or excuse me, Brady and the, the Dahlia. So they played that well. They were able to get a couple knocks. They were able to finish off one person trying to plant the bomb. Smokes had already gone out, so there's not any utility left for the attackers. But, I mean, good gunny. They just sustained themselves, kept themselves alive, and then isolated the the members of the defense that they wanted to take care of, saying, you know what, Precision's all the way over there. Leave him over there. Don't worry about mm -hmm. him. What's he going to do, run up behind us? Let's go and kill his two teammates that are pressuring us in water. Yeah, and having them both on the low ground really hurts, right? Because no one's on the highway in a position to actually help. They've dropped, they've committed, so they're definitely further out here. And I think pushing A kind of put the fear of God in them. Look at them, all the way down. They have two players on low ground. There's only two holding them back here. They don't spot precision, but they do spot Brady. Now they should see precision with their eyes, I would assume. As Sack goes to take this far side and story and precision. Sorry, story and pain, fine. Brady and Precision, they're going to take this site. And those two players who were holding back and baiting a little bit now, that's going to bite them. As they're likely going to get this res on the Kestrel fairly far back. No bomb downed yet, but it's only Diaz still standing against an entire team. Wants to catch out pain. Roll misses. Barely finishes the kill, but he's got four HP left. He's going to run away. Sad is pushing this on top of the of that cover. Lives for a second longer, but there are too many people alive to kind of try to cheese around like that. A good gunny just conditioned him in one round to worry too much about a yeah it's all about the isos too coming out from good gunny they know exactly how to isolate someone from franglish and not allow their teammates to help you saw there they were able to gun down blicky after they pushed through into the site and guess what no one can get to blicky forces seeker to just kind of window shop his teammate and say look i can't reach you man i'm sorry you know i'm gonna have to let you die here and then they push into him yeah he gets it down to get some money but it's all for naught because they just allowing the chalk to bait himself for the down gives away the position of the seeker. Oh. I'm sorry, I got I got so distracted in the end because Diaz just got torn to pieces, barely surviving. But good lord, what a start for them here! Flashbang though, that that anvil pairing definitely helping out. But Accenture caught in the corner. Here comes the push from Blicky. There's the down two players already eliminated here for them, and Precision caught on a flank from him. It pay in complete control of the map right yeah, now beautiful nade from gunny. blicky to set that flank up as well they can't get that flank if if blicky doesn't find a nade down because then there's two people still standing in there they're only sending one on each side so they could potentially lose those ones but they were able to get that down and then push in nice pinch oh, look at the swarm coming in diaz can't even get one because they're all over him they don't even care about the bomb at that point diaz showing himself kind of bites him in the end right i mean he could have maybe tried to cheese something out get a pick but takes a not guaranteed kill and they just run him down yeah we don't see a lot of that from this team already through one game and now three rounds of the f first or the second oh, yeah. game excuse me they go down maybe it's a 4v1 3v1 situation they don't play patiently they just try to square up saying you know what you're gonna run at me i'm gonna try and take you down i don't care about cash i don't care about saving cash either saying a kd fest this is a ten thousand dollar tournament come on come at me and they end up losing that fight every time so far you mentioned not caring about cash, but if they care about the, the, the real cash, the, the 10K at the end of it, they need to maybe play it a little bit differently. They need to you know, not worry about the, they need to worry about the KDs a little more for Franklish at least, because they are trying to take some of these fights. Might not need to here. Precision, finally, the small garage position pays off. Downs him at pain. And just get himself out of course, being chalk there. Compared with the Dahlia as well. Story, Downs his gets him so low too, and now Payne wants to push. Shoving back precision, great half cut recover here that he can use, but surrounded the control of the map. It's just all in Gunny's favor. Diaz, the last one left in a one versus two, not impossible. The bomb is down. He can play off of that. They don't know he's there, but Blicky isolates and now has to take a losing fight here. Forced to run, not gonna have the bow up in time. Diaz waits. It's a smart play, but 
They're coming in at the same time. Even if one down happens, the fist will guarantee that it can't. 4-0 start for Good Gunny. Man, it's looking like uh, deja vu every round now after this initial A pistol round because what happens is the Good Gunny, they get very aggressive and they just overtake the bomb site, right? When that happens, then... Seeker's playing too far back, so he's playing a little too passive. He's always the last one alive. And they always break through small garage with a nice flank because they down Eccentra, the Dahlia. Once they get him down, Precision's left in there by himself, and they yeah. just run at him on both angles, and they're able to gun him down as quickly as they broke in. So they've got to find a way for Eccentra to stay alive, or maybe Seeker has to get into the fight a little bit sooner, or maybe Precision has to bait them into that room and just not be there next time. Maybe. Well, he's already there now, but... Sticky Sensor spots him through that garage door. It spots through the wall on the initial throw. Got it. Understood. I probably had that happen to me and just Little didn't realize what was going right? on. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, be totally yeah. honest. Bounce nade. Force him back. He's still holding this and might get overwhelmed, but this time the crossfire is not going to be there. Don't even need it. Oh, good lord. Sat. Two headshots early. Rolls in. Their team has complete control of small, and now some players backside of B are isolated. Yeah, see, that time, Eccentra played a little bit further back so that he wouldn't get caught out with a nade or anything and allow the pinch. He wanted to close the pinch. Well, guess what? They smoked you off, buddy. You can't see. Smoked off. Can't see. Bomb down. Only the Seeker left up. Diaz on a very long flank. This is the place to be if you want to get those 1v1s, though. You can see... In a moment there, we could have gotten it, but there's a player about to run him down. It's Sat, runs into the sticky sensor, gets spotted, but all the damage is already there. Sahara versus Sahara. The one that shoots first is going to win Good Gunny. What uh, what performance on B so far? Wait, they hold on. Hold so on a second, Kresnik. Diaz's screen literally said, enemy detected. It lights them up. Nobody was lit up in front of him, and it took him about three seconds to turn to his right where he placed his sensor, and it marked Sat. So... A little lackadaisical there for Diaz true. Uh, true, as true. he's the last one. Probably could have won that gunfight. Also, yeah, like I was saying, I mean, they smoked off Dahlia. She she adjusted. Eccentra made a good play, right? He's playing further back so he doesn't get caught out. And he wants to catch someone off guard when they're trying to flank precisions in, precision in small garage. But unfortunately, he got smoked off. Oh, my. If they kill this Dahlia, what... I mean, obviously, great play by Precision, but Emit in getting that Dahlia, or that Kestrel, excuse me, so low, so early. Ridiculous. Precision on that Kestrel, still able, of course, to even it out, but they're already down one early, and I, I like the read that they had. They knew that they were going to go A. They had the Kestrel way far over, and now things finally going well for Frenglish, but it is still two on two. Funny story might make it a little bit easier for them though with that kestrel that seeker still down they will get that pickup just chalk and seeker versus seeker and dahlia depend i think this next bow will change how this round goes today pain got spotted will pain get bounce nated far enough away to live through it they get forced back with a half the bomb they could grab that they could try to get it down but i think Frankish might have too much pressure yeah, they have really good crossfires on that bomb, but that might be given away because Seeker's starting to fade away from it. Now he's going to move back. I mean, I like this play from the defense because Seeker played a little bit more aggressively. They left Kestrel out on an island, though. She what? needed help, and what is Sat doing? They had to know, right? He had to know. They had to have some intel. Not sure what Exentra was thinking there, but Emmett Payne knows where the last player is, which means they know the bomb is open to grab and plant, and Diaz now stuck on a 1v2 when things could have just been so simple for them. Things have gotten significantly harder. <laughs> I like the read on the C4, making an attempt at it, but Diaz knows where he is. doesn't know where the other player is. That's no bounce nade for him, just that sticky sensor. Will he run the zip line up? Will he take the fight with Emmett Payne? I wouldn't be willing to do that, but there's the shot with the arrow. Is that doing it? Wait, style? actually, that was a smart play from the dollar yeah. there. From the from the Dahlia for the for the push that they had, didn't they? Uh, oh no no no! Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say the Dahlia got revived, but she didn't. That was the enemy Dahlia who just. I, they had position on them. I don't know why Eccentra made that play, but he ended up falling. Bomb planted forces Diaz out of position. Nice little arrow off the ground, right into his toe. Takes him out for eighty. I mean, the defense here is not looking good from Franglish. And it's not entirely their fault. I mean, Seeker's playing pretty passive, but that last round, he got aggressive with his Dahlia. Dahlia just kind of sold the bag when it was a 2v2. I Accenture got a flashback to last year, trying to wall him off. 
Ah, I thought, he was play, thought he was playing Anara still, but I'm in pain. Good lord, aggression. Diaz. Taken down early. That's that secret. That's a lot of intel out of the picture now with all these smokes coming in. They really want some of those. Two players in small. They do trade out for pain. Will they get the kill before the Dahlia Res comes in? They will. Good push by Precision, but Blicky just ran in. Wait, just ran what? In the middle how of the do you let this fight, man do this? I don't know how they don't have that coverage. Sat knows that he's low somehow. Brady still wins that gunfight, but Story cleans up all of them from the backside. I thought maybe that was Franklish's chance after Brady had that that turnaround, but they that? just came all the way around through highway, pushed all the way through the site. That Total was entirely game. the defense's round to lose, and that's exactly what happened. They get the knock on Chog and confirm to him, you're all set. They smoke you off, but Dahlia pushes through the smoke to come inside and help the Anvil, which, by the way, mm -hmm. is a good trade-off because now they put Anvil in there. So if they do try and double push on both sides, he can wall one side off with his shield, at least, mm -hmm. for the time being. He didn't need to. And then they just push it. Like, Blicky just walked in behind them. The smoke had already dissipated. How is this? Is he invisible to you? Or what? what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Blicky just walking in. That was enough to bring in the Seeker. Seeker goes down, but that was enough just to delay enough time and do enough damage to where uh, my story just walks up behind and two-taps you. I don't know what happened. I don't know why they had so many eyes turned away from that area. I think they just figured no one's going to push the smoke. The fight's happening over here, so they just didn't put any eyes that way. Uh, Franklish are taking a page out of the book. A good gunny, though. They're starting on A. They swapped up their Seeker player, too. It's Precision now instead of DS. In why do you think that's the case? Uh, Diaz might just be playing the Saint. Oh, true. That would that might make some sense here. Halo drones. Not gonna find anyone. Thought heard someone, I think. So I was guessing where he is, but revealed by the smoke. Force him back. They have the shield down for the plant. But look at this. They're coming around the back. Excentra finds one. Diaz got this. The other down as well. The Dolly Res might come in in time, but there's already three down here. It's just pain. And Anvil left, but he takes a fight alone and precision cleaning up almost everybody there on that swap. Maybe that Seeker was all he needed. Change things up a little bit, give Brady that Kestrel and make it all happen himself. Yeah, that was a lot better. That's a good shield, by the way, to block off that left side so that they can't peek you from below on A on B or excuse me, A long. But the problem is is that they had someone on the high ground towards the right on the other side of highway, towards those boxes in the back of their spawn. So if you're not able to clear that out, it's a good idea to just swoop around. The The attackers probably didn't expect that at first, but then that gives them the high ground. They split it 2-2 on each side, and that just really opened up the fight for their post-plant position. you got to be able to have someone fade back into your own spawn as the defenders and take care of that person up top because then the shield will work a little bit better, and you can hold them off while you defuse. Yeah, the shield could have could have paid off a little more for the attackers. The defenders you can't block me, both obviously. sides. That's the problem. Yeah, exactly. You can isolate one unless you unless you're standing right on it. You're not gonna block both sides, and then you're out of position here. I uh, I like this read right now from Good Gunny. They realized where they're coming from, so they're playing on this on this other side. What will this frag find here? Xentra knocked very low. They find the sticky sensor there as well, but Sat maybe standing out a little long. They still get a trade out each way. Blicky knocks down Xentra. Look at that res, of course. I don't know if they'll be able to get it on the defensive side. They will. Phantom still back there on site. They have a C4 going over that. Will Diaz be caught in? Takes 45. They know he's there, though. They're going to run in and get it. Knock him down. Set up that clamshell, like you would call it. And maybe start this defuse. Do they have the support board? There's still two members left. There's some nades coming in. I think he stopped just for a second. Halo drones as well. Story was caught there in the middle. So they have to find some kills, and they just lose the war of attrition. Precision again on the flank. Hero plays for Franklish, but can he do it five more rounds in a row? Man, Brady is starting to take over, dude. He said, give me the Kestrel. I'll show you how to play this. He <laughs> is getting knock after knock. He knows exactly how to hold his uh, utility and his lethals as well. Waits for them to get on the bomb, right? They're clamshell, so he can shoot the drones in between the clamshell while he mm -hmm. throws a grenade at the left side. And it's even a bonus, too, because he can't peek the left side people as better as best as he can the clamshell, but I mean, again, the shields are there, so you can't shoot that person on the peak. So, Halo drones to the right, grenade to the left. Once they dodge that, then you can peek, put some gunfire out. Diaz with this MLX on this low ground, I, I, I do like the angle, but if a fight breaks out, if a quick fight happens, if Good Gunny takes just a, a very aggressive push, they're gonna end up on the worst side of it. Speaking of an aggressive push, they're down a few. Story close. 
Might go for this res. Is, is Excentra holding anything? Doesn't have any frags. If Saint rolls into an MLX. It's a trade. But they might be able to get their reses. Who else is still up? It is just Diaz, who actually might have make a hero play, but he's not going to push to stop the reses from happening. He has to wait. He's in a 1v4 with this map on the line. Pull this out. We'll get in. Maybe caught rolling pain. Doesn't finish him off, but Sat will do it anyway. That is the end of Favela. The second map straight for good gunning and only a small upgrade from the previous map from Franklish. Diaz to me looks like he's playing and they, you know, win 8-3, <laughs> then 8-4, then 8-1, then 8-2. So they're they're starting to get the ball rolling here today. And good gunny, they're looking poised to get to the next round here. The semifinals of the upper bracket. Just a reminder for everyone in chat. We're only watching up until the finals of the winner's bracket mm -hmm. today. And then tomorrow we will continue our coverage with some more great matches of Rogue Company. $10,000 on the line and being given out tomorrow to our winners. Who will it be? Well, you decide in chat. I, do they decide? Because <laughs> yes, yes, if that's yes. so, then I think cute hands. If I don't like the answer, then <laughs> if I don't like the answer, then we re-roll. Okay, got it. Understood. Feel bad for who, whatever mod in chat is up the preds for that, but won't be me. I don't have mod powers there. Yeah, it's like American Idol, like our producer said. It's like American Idol. Yeah. If I don't like the, if I don't like the winner, we just re-roll. Is American Idol? See, I've been watching a lot of the Mask Singer lately. Don't don't say anything, and. Is that show also decided by by audience votes? I watch it afterwards on stream. I, I thought all those were done at this point. Like any show that was purely on the audience. Uh, well, the live episodes are the audience voting ones. Other than that, it's like mm -hmm. uh, it's all pre-recorded. Like the earlier season uh, episodes, you know, stuff like that. Understood. Well, one thing is live. I know, I know, again. because I'm in a game show, baby. So you know. <laughs> One thing's live, though, as we said, Blue, and it's this game right now. Unfortunately, no audience voting will change anything. But it's all down to the players. They've already changed one thing, Diaz. Lancer on this map, it hurt Good Gunny on their game for it, and Franklish seemed to have adopted that strategy right off of that one. Yeah, maybe they uh, finished their first matchup so fast that they're able to watch, <laughs> what was it, game three or four of this one here. Actually, I think it might have been game two, right? Mm-hmm. I can't remember the order, ladies and gentlemen. I just know that it was a really good game, and Lancer was a big deal. Look at Brady very cozy in the trench. Brought his big coat out here, just in case it got hold on Vice. That's a new skin. You like time. it? It looks pretty nice. Not gonna lie, it's a little. I think for like three peaking, it's a little big. A little Dude, puffy. I thought it was Fixers when I first saw it. Like the the reveal of it, I was like, that's Fixers. Fixer silhouette. As long as silhouettes. About Looks like Idris now, Elba, Alba, however you say his name. You know what I'm talking about? I know who you're talking about, but yeah. I don't know enough to uh, to follow up on that one. Etcetera seems to know quite a uh, story. Excuse me, seems to know quite a bit about the positioning of the enemy team, though. Pushing out, finding that kill. Etcetera with a could be on a huge flank here, but gets spotted out, forced to disengage. It's only him left, trying to get in to defuse this bomb in a one versus two. Story seems to be confident about their team's chances because he's just taunting here in the open. Etcetera went for the fight during the taunt, might still end up losing it, but won it in the end. Headshots for him. Flip it around, but of course, two versus one, not the easiest thing to do, even though all those headshots connect. Still got a little bit of follow-up, and they lose the round. Woo, with the basketball, too. He brought out the ball. Just doing a little crossover. And then he was able to get the kill, clean him up, baited his teammate out for it. But that's okay. Baits aren't all that bad, especially when you're able to win the round off of it. That was a good round. I mean, Accenture playing the Kestrel this time, so... The third different Kestrel being played for Franglish. Uh, interesting, but Kestrel we'll see how it works out. I, 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 it's okay because we've seen Accenture play it in the past, so mm -hmm. it's not like off the, you know, it's not crazy. I remember a, an old meme from the Rainbow Six community where there was a cast that some players watched. They were commentating on it. They uh, they kept trading out who was playing Doc to uh, yes. whoever was, I was top there for that live, actually. It was a very, very, very funny moment. And maybe something like that's happening here. <laughs> They're just giving it away to whoever they think will do the best on it as they go. Maybe this is like their tryout. Who's the better <laughs> Kestrel on our team? We'll find out in the 10K main event. Well, Xentra proving something right now. Seems to be aiming pretty well. The gun skill is there on the Kestrel for him so far. But Gunny are making it into sight. Smoke it off. Get the plant down. Sat finds precision. Huge opening for them here as Diaz is on a flank, but he's stuck in a two versus one. Can he get someone isolated? Yes. A little bit of help. And his teammate Eccentric gets both of them with a crossfire. Finishes them off. 
but gets Halo Drone back. Has to use the stim shot. Stay alive in this fight, but it's again three versus one. What can Xector do? Headshots got a laser in his pocket, but too many players running him down. It's always Xentro left, but those downs that he's getting are adding up. He's on Gestro, man. Six downs, six six thousand extra dollars in the pocket. I like that play too. I was about to say you just saw Blicky's name tag in the right side of your eye. They're pushing up the stairs, and he just shoots the other direction. But he was shooting the person off of the bomb, so I'll give him credit for trying there. Maybe he should have kept his Halo drones for that moment because it would have been a lot better. Shoot the Halo drones at the stairs. Shoot the person on the the bomb with your gun. You probably would have gotten a double, then a triple, and win that round for your team. Now you're down 0-2, so it's looking a little rough. But again, like you said, you know, Kestrel, that's what she brings to a team. Not just a lot of damage and, and good ways to take people down and finish off kills. But the ability to just have a lot of stuff in her kit at the ready because of that extra amount of money. Yeah, just that. And that, that snowball potential is huge. Precision. Caught up by the frag. Grady also completely isolated and punished. Diaz on the flank. Hey, look who's alone on an island. It's Xentra. One more time. The last member standing for Franglish. Might get this revive, but he is getting pushed. Has to use the Halo drone that will punish Sad. Xentra gets the kill. Can he get the, the res? Not even going to go for it. Doesn't think he has a chance. Now stuck in a 1v3 with not the most health remaining. And the bomb planted, shoved in by every member. Very good gunny. What's that? What's that copy pasta from Valorant about Hiko? I have no My name idea. Is Dentra. I'm here. <laughs> I'll get to the side a little bit later. Something like that. He is just a little bit behind from the team, but they are just they're just losing these fights and abandoning Xentra, basically. But yeah, I think Accenture is also exhausting too much of his kit onto one person, right? So mm -hmm. he, he goes into bathroom, helps out, gets one kill with his drones while he's shooting that person. And there he does it again. Maybe he's just not as confident with his gun skill, especially when the Seeker got one or two bullets into him first there. Maybe he could have just peeked, left that alone, didn't have to fight that. But he uses his drones mm -hmm. and then shoots his gun. So he doesn't have his full kit available for the next fight afterwards. And when you're by yourself, the more tools you have in, in at your disposal, helps you well he takes an early fight has to use the stim immediately he's trying to say hey, listen i don't want to be the first one dead i don't want to be the last one dead this time so i'm just gonna run in and try to take a fight nay hey, i'll win that one too i'll take down pain i'll get caught by blinky though they trade one for one and uh, maybe they're hoping that Xenture being the first one down might be a sign of a good luck for him because it hasn't worked in the last three rounds that's a really good trade as well. I like that. Even though he dies, he gets one for it. And now the other side will lose their Kestrel as Blicky finds him with the grenade onto Brady. But they're going to be able to res that. So now they're still in prime position to defend this well. Sap barely lives. Can't take this fight against DS somehow, some way. Sahara beats the SMG at point blank range. Just got that those extra first little shots. We can see people getting chased. Now I'm expecting Blicky to win this one, just if we're going by how things have been going for him so far. Hit by a bow, I think, actually, on the way in. Quick little headshot on him, but he is isolated, getting healed now. Finally, bomb going down for good gunny. I think I heard that sound. Maybe I just oh misheard. Oh my goodness, the, the quick peeks from Sat right now. We only Monsters really see that from people too. like Ink, and my goodness. Just goes for the goes for the aggro play. It's just Brady left again. Constant clutch situations that Franklish are forced into. But do they know where Brady is? It looks like they don't. But he peeked a little bit out. I think they saw him. Maybe Blicky's actually not looking that way anymore. So maybe they don't have the intel. Getting shot in the feet though. Now he gives himself away. Forced to rotate. Brady on the push. But there is a crossfire. Sat gets him on the way out. Great performance that round from Satin. Pretty even scoreline. For the members of Good Gunny, at least, 7776, they're all taking part in this victory so far. You know, we were talking about maybe they're testing out who the better Kestrel is. Right now, he's got eight downs. Look at the rest of that scoreboard for that team. Two between the three of them. Brady's not looking yeah. like the best saint on the team right now. And Diaz, he's having a lot of trouble. Even when he does flank or doesn't, it's the same outcome. He's losing his ones against these mm -hmm. other players. He lost a 1v1 with Sat in bathroom there, even though he had the advantage. He lost a 1v1 against a, uh, a Kestrel as well, even when he had the advantage yeah. coming up behind her. So he's got to be able to find some success with this Lancer in these last three rounds of this half like they can't even get the advantage here they have to just hope to get it as close as possible that's one way to start it though ds gets him with the axe but gets traded right away so stuck in it would have been a three versus three if gunny didn't get the res picking up shoutouts to the double res saint dahlia he ran it 
last time they were on Vice, and it's still paying off for them Stop here. That. Bathroom control now for them. Something that they're keeping in mind, and it seems to be working for them so far. But how are Fringlish going to approach this site? They, they, they have a pretty split approach here. Brady alone on an island, and it's about what happens in mid. They get one pick, but it's always trades. It's always trades, and it's just not going in their favor because of the double res from the gunny brady completely caught off guard by that hold that close hold by blicky and now it's just the seeker precision out. stuck in Run hands by blicky has the rifle too picking up scavenging whatever they can find gunny 5-0 yeah i mean bathroom controls is very very good to have but when you're you know post plant position and the last man is in the bathroom you can let him have it because if he comes out you just gun him down that's exactly what happened but yeah, like you were saying, the defense, they're just too spread out. They're not playing with each other. They're not playing off of each other. I don't really see any smokes coming out on retakes, maybe to shut down some angles or some line of sights. I don't see that either. Brady's probably having a tough time. Doesn't have armor either. So he's really struggling in the currency department or the, you know, the, he doesn't have much money in the bank right now. And that's just going off of the rest of the the mistakes being made from the rest of the team. They're not winning their gunfights, which means they're not winning the rounds. They're not giving themselves the advantage, AKA they're not earning any money. Yeah, nothing for them quite yet, hoping they can make up for it in these last two rounds. But uh, being this low, this late is gonna be tough to come back from. With Good Gunny taking a lot of ground in B long, going all the way around them. Diaz on this flank has to find something coming all the way from their spawn. There's no way they're ready for this. Might get Blicky, but just a little bit inaccurate at the start. Not gonna even get anything out of that Semtex as well. So now they know that Diaz is there and they can play off the pick that they had. That should have been a one for one. But they don't get a chance to actually do it that way. Blicky confident enough to push Diaz, who's just crouch walking and gets torn to pieces. It's just Exentra left again. One more time for him. Will he win this duel? Maybe, probably, but completely surrounded. They are struggling here on Vice. Diaz is struggling, man. That was not a good play from him. Not a heads up uh, IQ. I mean, you got to know you have a submachine gun. You, the aim did not look good trying to fire someone down all the way on the other side of long B, right? So if you cannot gun him down in a second like that, mm -hmm. you do not shoot because that gives away your position. The Semtex was thrown. It was useless. That's just a wasted lethal out of your hands. And then the lack of awareness, he's walking, just crouch walking. Blicky pushes into him with a smoke too. You got to know, they know where you are now. You don't have a Semtex. They're pushing in through a smoke. Back up. Play with your team. And he just did not have the awareness or the IQ to do so. I just wasn't sure. Wow. Double burst hit from the Saint as they're going to take some ground. They have precision revealed. They know he's got to run one direction. He takes a fight. He's in the smoke somewhere. So he's going to keep spraying on that. And he tries to get away, but just can't. It is one for one, though. Diaz downs Blicky. But again, here's the difference. Good gun. He finish all their kills. Franklish don't. Because of that double res. Finally, they do actually end a pick here, but story downs and finishes Accenture himself. Diaz close range with the axe. Gets one. Can he get the second? Does win it now. The Lancer turning on for him in this final round of this half. But even so, it's still just a two versus one. As good as they could have been. Does this Kestrel have drone? No, they used the drones earlier for that. So, gonna have to force and find a one versus one. Brady playing is so smart. Saint going for the peak then doesn't even take get shot back once and it's it's not a lot but it's something one round at the end of the half to push them into their attacking side hey you get one i mean that's how it starts right that's how the momentum starts building you mm -hmm. got to get one in order to get two uh they're still down by a mile and you know you're not going to get all these rounds back at once so you got to start somewhere that's a good start for them but diaz finally making some plays on the lancer got a triple kill that round could have gotten the 4K, but it went to, to Brady there. And you saw the different play style from the two Saints as well. Brady electing to go with the, the, the AR. Meanwhile, on the other side, you have the Mamba. So, yeah, you, you're oh. good from a distance with the AR. But, again, you, you, yeah, I know I saw it. But you got to be able to hit those shots. I think maybe if Brady played a little bit more aggressive with that AR he had in his hand, he would have done a little bit better. They could have came away with more than one round. But, yes, like you were trying to mention to me, we see Edema, baby, and it's from Franklish. We also see a Town. That's a little bit of a different play here mm -hmm. uh, in this Franklish? matchup. But we did see them play it on their Vice game in the last match. 
But they, they seem to have a read on it, though. They seem to have an idea that that, that talent is coming. I'm just saying that because of the Ronin pick, right? Like, countering or, or yep. dealing with that a little bit better. That seems like a read from Franklish, so maybe... This is this has been their game the whole time. Just play for the attacking side. Dude, her her passive has got to change or like have something else added to it because there's only one person she's invisible to, man. <laughs> Unless you're counting like, oh, I shoot my unsilenced oh. weapon, they can't see me on the radar. Oh man. Well, this is a quick round so far. Dominance from Good Gunny. They lose one in process. Precision manages to find one on the road. He gets a second. Gets a third. This Dima paying off by him here, but paying stops. The chance of a clutch. What a what a unreal potential turnaround by Precision. But judging by his stats, I mean, those were that's seventy five percent of what he's done in this entire game. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. He had three downs. Didn't oh, he? he had three. Okay. Yeah. Bombs down. He had right. everyone down except uh, Payne at the end. Oh, okay. I thought he only grabbed two off the jump wall, but all right. He got, he got the first pick that round too. He was the one who forced that three v one. Ah. Okay. 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 I remember that now. All right. You're right. So, I mean, it's it's a, a great almost clutch play, but I can't see. I've I've more. got like fireworks in my eyes because I get to see a Dima, but we might not get to see it for more than two rounds here. And he's blinding us with some good plays so far. Gotta say, at least on this on this round, where's this Merv gonna go? Okay, counter the Talon, but oh, that is not great. That's how that starts. You can't let the Talon down one of you and have your Merv no one be able to follow up on him to clear him out. Flicky and, and, oh, they are taking so much ground. They are flanking them and be long. They're waiting for too long. They're out in the open. Precision down so low. Exentra down as well. Story doing it all himself. And the glitch is pushing this last player, but Sat lives. And they end the chances of Frenglish to move on in the winner's bracket. What gameplay from Good Gunny. I mean, from the lower seed. Clean 3-0 here.